everybody, this is Kat and Sid, and today I'm going to talk about a big difference between Chinese and English that I discovered when I started studying Chinese, and that is pronouns. So in English, we have several different pronouns. We have she, he, it, they, yeah. And in Chinese, after I started studying it, I discovered, whoa, we have ta for everything. We have ta for her, ta for him, we have ta men for them, we have ta for it. Yeah, so that's very different. And we're just talking about speaking, like when you're speaking, everything's gonna, in Chinese, gonna sound ta. You can't tell, I mean, obviously in writing, you can tell the difference. So sometimes when Sid is speaking in English really fast, he'll mix up she and he. Um, but when he's speaking Chinese, it, he can get away with that because it sounds the same. But for a lot of Americans, when you're speaking English, uh, they care a lot which pronoun that you use. For example, if someone was talking about some guy and they use she to refer to him, and then he heard that, I think he'd probably be a little bit offended by that. Because it would seem like kind of a personal attack. Like, oh, he's not a man, he's a woman. Not that it's a bad thing to be either, but a lot of people are very attached to which gender they are. Even more than that, uh, there's a movement nowadays that's mostly among young people. Generally, it's related to the LGBT community, and it's very against misgendering, which basically means calling somebody the wrong pronoun, like referring to them as a gender that they don't identify with. And so this first really started with trans people being more and more visible in the US. So for example, if you had a male to female trans person who identifies as a female, uh, calling them he would be considered very hurtful. Like that's not who they are inside, so it's hurtful to them. So this movement is pretty concerned with redefining gender and kind of breaking out of the gender binary that we have, she and he, male and female. A lot of people, well, there's plenty of people nowadays who don't identify with either or they identify as both. Um, and some people want to use them instead of he or she. And actually, this poses an interesting problem because grammatically, them is usually reserved for multiple people. So using it for one person, while it's good because it will, it doesn't specify a gender, there's some people who are very, you know, particular about grammar and they might say, oh, I'm not going to use them because it's not grammatically correct. There are even some people who don't want to use he, she, or even them. Instead, they want to use their own pronouns that they came up with. For example, I'm pretty sure some people use Fae, like F-A-E as a pronoun, so like Fae, Fair, Fae Self. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but that's one I've actually heard multiple times. So this is not a word that exists in the English language, like you can't find this in a dictionary. And it seems like nowadays, um, like at universities, colleges, places where young people are going to be, if someone's introducing themselves, sometimes they might even say, oh, hi, my name is whatever, my preferred pronouns are this. And so if someone's telling you their preferred pronouns and then you choose to use a different pronoun from what they asked you to use, that's considered pretty rude. I think they'd probably be pretty offended. So this could probably be pretty confusing for non-native English speakers because they're probably not going to teach you this in English class and it's probably even more confusing for native Chinese speakers trying to learn English because the pronoun situation is really different because it's ta. So if you're ever in the US, I would say just be a little careful about which pronouns you choose to use because looks do not always match the pronoun that people want to use. So for example, if someone maybe looks to you like they're female and they're wearing a dress or something like that, they're wearing feminine clothing, even if they're not transgender, they still might want to be referred to not by she. 
so you just got to be careful. So this is actually kind of a serious issue in the US and it's definitely easier to mess it up when you're speaking because it's on the spot and you don't really have time to think about which one to use, maybe you're not sure. When you're writing it's going to be easier because you have a little bit more time to reflect on which one to use. My last point that is also related to pronouns in English. Before we posted a video that included my dog, Theo, and when Sid was translating it, he used ta, the he one, instead of the it one, to refer to him. And some people said that that was incorrect, that I should use it, but I want to say in the US, most people are going to refer to their pets using she or he. Because, for example, my mom is very attached to Theo. She thinks of him as her son. <laughs> so she will probably be kind of sad if someone called him it. So not only should you be careful about which pronouns you use for people, you should also be careful which pronouns you're going to use for pets. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was an interesting and helpful video. Please look forward to our future videos. Please like, comment, and follow us. Okay, bye! Hey Sid, what's your preferred pronoun? He, she, they... <laughs> Sid. <laughs>